I'm Dr Adam Geary from the School of Law, Birkbeck College, University of London. How could a right to die be justified? This question poses both moral and legal issues. Therefore, I want to justify a right to die in both moral and legal, or at least human rights, terms. How can we approach this question from a moral point of view? I want to make use of utilitarian principles. Utilitarianism provides a guide to moral questions. It suggests that an act that furthers the common good is to be preferred to one that does not. We could define the common good in a number of ways. Happiness or well-being, for instance. Let's use well-being. Thus, we want to argue that a right to die is for the common good as it increases the well-being of most people. In other words, those who are critically ill, in desperate pain, and have indicated that they do not want to be revived should they fall into a coma, should be left to die. This is because it is better for their well-being, of course. We have to be careful to ensure that an individual has taken the decision to die when in sound mind and uncoerced by others. The person choosing to die must thus have unequivocally stated that they prefer not to live in pain, that a life in pain is not one characterised by well-being. Moreover, for those who are contemplating whether or not to state that they do not want to be medically revived, the knowledge that they can be left to die arguably increases their well-being also. There is, of course, a problem with this argument. Surely, something like life is beyond utilitarian calculation. The death of one person cannot be justified by the fact that it will bring benefits to others. If we take human rights as a reference point, the right to life suggests that life should always be respected. We could modify our argument to take this objection into account. We could qualify our moral principle to suggest that the right to life always has to be taken into account in assessing the common good. This does not mean, though, that we cannot justify the right to die from a human rights perspective. Human rights have exceptions. Thus, the right to life is qualified by, for example, the taking of life in defence from unlawful violence. The right to die could be seen as another exception to the right to life, provided that there are careful guidelines around the expression of the choice to die, as suggested above, the right to die is not inconsistent with human rights. I'm hoping that this answer suggests some of the provocative ideas that one encounters in jurisprudence, that one can make arguments, and then challenge those arguments with other arguments in order to clarify one's thinking, indeed, to find out what one really thinks.